are we making a safe space for our children to come to us and ask anything they want to without any hesitation, without any fear or embarrassment or feeling shy or not, not feeling like if I ask something, I'll be put down. I'll be made, I'll be made fun of. Have we created that safe space for our children? If we don't, they will go find out other sources to meet their quest to, to fulfill um, those desire of knowing. And sometimes the means that, that they will um, adopt to know those answers might not be the proper means and might lead them towards darker pathways. So make sure whenever your children are inquisitive, you don't, you don't shut them down. You don't make them feel little. You don't embarrass them. Encourage them to ask them anything they want to. Make them feel welcome that they can ask you anything they want to. Even a man came to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, to ask to get the permission for fornication. He asked, O oh Rasulullah, give me the permission to fornicate. So where did he get that courage, that audacity to come to such a person, such a holy person, such a righteous person such a he he was Amir, uh, he was um, the leader he was the governor to have that courage to come forward to ask that question definitely rasulullah peace and blessings be on him he created that space for anybody any layman to come to him and ask him any sorts of questions women used to come to him and ask about intimacy about periods um, and he never shied away from uh, giving knowledge. But nowadays, if a child would come to us and ask about periods or any such thing about sex and fornication and intimacy, we would shut them off because we feel embarrassed because we don't know how to handle this conversation publicly or non-publicly. Um, then we would respond in a way to make them feel little, that they're not grown up yet, why are they asking such questions and where, where they're getting these questions from, or just divert their mind so that we don't have to feel embarrassed and deal with our embarrassment. But our deen, our religion, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, never shied away from difficult questions. Allah never shied away from difficult questions. He answers a lot of things. He doesn't, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He doesn't ex use explicit terms, but the terms that's been used, we know what they mean. And Allah has um, catered, uh, catered for those um, matters. So be open, be, be mindful how you are feeling when you are um, being asked such questions and you feel how you are tackling those, feel those feelings. There's no, no issues about feelings, those feel, feeling those feelings, feeling embarrassed, feeling uncomfortable, feeling unease, but how you respond to the child will make a whole lot of difference um, in his life and how he, how he would live his life, how he would approach to you uh, next time. So I hope that helps you i hope that um, gives you a pathway to build relationship with your children and cultivate a nurturing a welcoming um, relationship i'll see you soon